Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your favorite girl, Akudo. Welcome to your unique world. Guys, I have no, I've missed you guys. I know you guys missed me too. So looking at the topic, the topic says, shoot for the moon. There's a quote by Norman, I think Norman Pearl. And the quote says, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you will land among the stars, you are still getting up there. So I want to encourage and motivate you today. Whatever you're doing, I know some of you are saying, oh, 2020 will soon be over. You know, 2020, we can't wait for 2020 to be over. But I want to encourage you. I want to motivate and inspire you. Aim for the moon. Always aim high. When I was in secondary school, my, um, my principal will always say, failure is not a crime but failure is aiming low when you fail that means you aimed low then what you do is you get up get back on the horse and go try again and this quote by norman pearl says when you shoot for the moon you shoot way way up in there and if it materializes or you achieve what you're waiting you're looking for all well and dandy if it doesn't you miss the moon you will still land among the stars. You are still up there in the sky. You are not down here. You are where, at least closer to where you want to be. You see, if a journey, let's say you want to go from um, Atlanta to Virginia, let's say it's a 10-hour drive, and you leave Atlanta by 1 o'clock, and you're supposed to get to Virginia by 10 o'clock, at least you are on your way getting to Virginia. If you stop midway, maybe 5 hours, 6 hours to Virginia, it doesn't matter. You can take a break. If you get tired, take a break, do something, and continue going. At least you're still way, way up there. You're still on your way to Virginia. You still focus. You still know what you want. You still know what you're looking for. You still know your objectives, your goals, your aims in life, and you go for it. Things are not always going to be exactly how you want it. There's, um, the, even the Bible. The Bible says... Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So God made provision for the valley of the shadow of death. God said you're going to walk through it. He didn't say you're going to build a house in it. He didn't say you're going to pitch a tent in there. He didn't say you're going to lie down there. He said you're going to walk through it. That means you go through that tunnel and you come out on the other side. Remember, no matter how dark it gets, morning must surely come. No matter how heavy it rains, I promise you, the rainbow must surely appear. There is a silver lining in every cloud. So I'm here to encourage you with this unique word, aim for the moon. Always demand more for yourself. Expect more for yourself. Remember, you can never attract what you don't, at you can never attract what you attack. If you want success, you want good health, you want a good job, you want a business, you want a good marriage, you want to find the right man, the right woman, then put it into the atmosphere. Speak it into existence. I want a God-fearing man. I want a God-fearing woman. I want a woman that has a heart of gold. I want a woman that has a big heart. I want this business to progress. This business is going to progress because the Bible says, whatsoever I lay my hands on, that he shall prosper. You know, speak it into existence. Have faith. Remember what the Bible says. When we believe in our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and what will happen, we will be saved. So you have to confess into the, put it out there into the atmosphere. Aim for the moon, aim high. Don't always expect a little from yourself. Well, you know, you know, nothing good will ever come out of me. There is no need, you know. Uh, let me just manage this one like that. It's okay. Manage this one right now, but aim high. Look for better things. Look for more things. Look for things that will make you better. If you need to go back to school, go back to school. If you need to go get another job, go get another job. If you need to, you know, redo your resume, go do your resume, your CV. If you need to go to that uncle that knows that person, that knows the other person, and say, uncle, please, I need a job, then go to that uncle. My sister, my brother, 2020 is coming to an end, but we, uh, we can still achieve what we have planned to achieve this year. Nothing is too late because the God we worship is not a God that is, is never late. God is an on-time God. And believe God. Aim high. Don't always give yourself low expectations. You know, what can I do? I will die in this village. I will do what I can do. 
you know things are so hard for me i come from a poor family my grandparents are poor my my great grandparents are poor me i'm going to be poor too you know because this is our generational thing no my sister that's not your that's you're putting a curse on yourself that's not your generational thing you know my uncle died of diabetes my mother died of diabetes and now i think i'm gonna die of diabetes why are you confessing negatively you know we don't ever stay in marriage my sister left her marriage my other brother left the marriage my other sister left the marriage so i know that i will not have marriage too i will know my marriage will not last my sister when you confess negatively negativity follows you when you are positive positivity follows you mind what you say with your mouth the power of life and death lies in your tongue be very careful what you say about yourself always aim high always expect the best for yourself i'm gonna graduate from college i'm gonna do this job i'm gonna learn this trade i'm gonna exceed in it i'm gonna be good at it i'm going to learn what i need to learn in it i'm going to god is going to put jonathan and people in my way god is going to bless me god is going to bring people in my way that are gonna help me people you know just confess positively believe in yourself at least be doing something that quote by norman pearl say when you aim for the moon even if you don't get exactly what you want, you will fall on the stars. You are still way up there. You are not where you started from. You are still way up there. So believe in yourself and aim for the moon. Set down objectives for yourself. As we are entering into a new year, I want you to sit down and write something about yourself. Tell yourself what are your goals this year and the next year. What are you going to achieve? What are you going to do? How are you going to better your life? How are you going to change your life? Write those things down and believe in yourself. My sister, my brother, I tell you this all the time. If you don't believe in yourself, trust me, nobody out here will believe in you. Remember the quote that says, if there is no enemy within, the enemy outside will do us no harm. If you don't have any enemy within, that is the enemy of greed, the enemy of disappointment, the enemy of not believing in yourself, the enemy of feeling you can't amount to anything, the enemy of self-doubt, the enemy of sympathy, the enemy of pity, the enemy of people feeling sorry for you, those are the enemies. If you have those enemies within, then when people outside, the enemies outside, which are human beings, when they, <coughs> excuse me, when they, <coughs> When they say something to you or you get upset because now the enemy outside is agreeing with the enemy inside and now you feel bad about your life okay so let me tell you something my sister my brother my uniques go out there and aim high go out there and aim really really high make sure that what you're aiming for you're going to get it if you don't get it at least you get something close to it at least you get something close to it. If it is a business you want to start, maybe you want to start a, a hairdressing salon, you don't have the money to start, at least you go to a good hairdressing salon and you get a job and you work there, you are exposed to the people, you are exposed to different styles and different techniques and then when you save up your money, now you start. You were no longer where you used to be, at least you are still somewhere. Okay? If it is mechanic you want to be, you want to learn how to do cars, you don't have money to open your own mechanic shop, go and attach with somebody. Hey, bro, can I stay here at your shop and maybe give you a little bit of money to stay here? Okay? Go do that. If it's, you want to have a restaurant, you don't have money to open a big restaurant. There is no money, but you know how to cook. My sister, my brother, in Nigeria, there are people that don't have restaurants, but they cook well. They get a table, get a very good tree, go under that tree, put their table there, put a bench by the side, like a seat by the side, have their coolers, and they're selling food. Maybe from 8 o'clock to 2, or from 8 o'clock to 12, when they finish, they pack up their thing, put everything in their wheelbarrow, and wheel it back home. That's their business. They were no longer unemployed. Now they are doing their little restaurant in their own little table. Then from there, they will save up money and go find a location and not get the big restaurant they were looking for. Aim for something high. Aim for the moon so that even if you fall, you will still be among the stars. You will still be among in the sky. You still haven't gone that far. My sister, my brother, I just wanted to share that word with you. As I was going through my phone, I saw that quote by Norman Pell. And I said, you know what? Let me share this unique word with you guys. Remember, 
always aim for the moon. Don't look down on yourself. Don't belittle yourself. Don't use derogatory words on yourself. You stupid, stupid, stupid. No. If you keep saying you're stupid, my sister, then you become stupid. If you keep saying you're useless, my brother, then you become useless. Stop confessing negatively. Believe in yourself. You are your greatest cheerleader. You are the only one that can honk your horn, that can cheer yourself up. Hey, give me an A. Hey, give me a K. K, give me a U. U, give me a D. D, give me an O. O, I could. I am my greatest cheerleader. And you should also be your greatest cheerleader. Always aim for the moon. Don't always aim low. Oh, you know, let me just manage this one. You can be managing this one, but aim high and then start managing and get up there. Let your focus be on the thing you want to focus on and then walk your way towards it. Because when you have a goal out there, then everything you do, you start putting in the little aims, the little objectives, which all will lead you to the main goal of what you want in life. All right? I love, love, love you guys. Remember, you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. That is why you are unique. Be kind to yourself and to each other. I hope you guys are in the, in, the, in the holiday spirit. I'm in the holiday spirit. I'm having a blast. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye-bye.